Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so you guys know we got inside rated on Mythcraft, and this is currently Mythcraft. I'm on single player; it's world download, and I'm um, on the Kappa client. Great client for using single player and canoning worlds. I would never encourage hacking on factions, but if you wanted to get this client, it's pretty good. Um, really, this is all we have for storage. I mean, everybody just kind of has miscellaneous chests right now. But I even got like Velotix QG back in the game, um, I flaggers back from the army, so that's kind of cool. But so what we got so far, just a little basic hopper floor. Um, um, I guess we're gonna do vaults here. I'm not really too sure. I didn't design this base at all, and then we just have the creeper spawners, and we have more than this. I think we have four pillars worth, but he hasn't put them in for some reason. I don't know if he's just waiting until we actually get our corner defenses done. Because right now, to be honest, we're a very easy left shot base. Um, I'll show you. This side is okay, but this side is slack and hard. And it's just like aids to build these things because you have to hand build walls and you have to hand build corner pillars. And we're just lazy. So if we get left shot, oh well. Right shot, whatever. It happens, it happens. Um, it's part of the game, you know. But this is what we got so far on Mythcraft. And I figured I'd let people know what I was up to. And I'm also going to do a little surprise thing real quick and hop over onto a different server and show you guys our base on there because I have been playing another server kind of secretly. Um, you guys remember Rabbit Kids is Fat. I'm playing with him on Origin Green server. So let me be right back and I'll hop on there. All right, so we're back. Just downloaded the base on Origin Factions Green. I'm currently the at Bedrock. Um, I just don't really have much stuff so I'm bunking down here with my best bud killmat 47 and I guess he's doing like auto brewers here or something I'm not really too sure I just joined the faction but um up here they have the base split off a sugarcane farm some old vaults or something and then we have I guess they used to have spawners here but they moved them this is when the actual base starts you'll start seeing some pretty fancy looking rooms and people's stuff the collection rooms which actually looks really nice and I think this is modeled after the old Empire base on OpticCraft for a long time ago. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. It's an okay base. It's working so far. They've worked pretty hard on it. Don't know why they still have dry spots on the roof. Now I do know there's no creeper eggs on here. And there's also no way to um, get creepers to spawn up here. And if they do, you can't flint and steal them. But you can see, I mean, they're working pretty hard on this base doing it. I'm not really helping with the base. I'm just kind of on here to raid have fun, do whatever. But yeah, there's Origin. Now I am going to show you guys one more thing, so let me hop on a different server. And pretty much what we're going to do is just kind of give you a little quick view of something that's pretty cool actually. Um, let me do GMC. I think this is the coolest feature of this client. Now I don't usually endorse hacked clients or modified clients, but this one's really helped, especially on single player and canon servers when it comes to just um, testing cannons and whatnot. You know, like I said, I'd never want you to hack on factions, but this is great. Um, so you can turn on a thing called T or Player Detector and TNT Detector. TNT Detector is pretty sweet because it not only spams your screen with this really annoying noise, you know, it has a tracer to the TNT. So like, even if I flew like way over here, You see, now that's just a really annoying noise. I apologize for the noise. But if you were AFK at your cannon on like a creative server or, uh, you know, in your base on single player, obviously on single player, um, and somebody was shooting TNT at you, it would alert you and show you tracers to where the TNT is being shot from. That's a pretty cool feature. You can also see the rest of the controls down here. I mean, it has like slash TNT crafting macro and whatever. It has a lot of crap. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that feature is pretty unique. But I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.